All right, guys, uh, back again on the Mark 7 build. Uh, Ryan is going to be working on assembling the head tonight. Yeah, new valves, valve seals, valve lap, um, generatable down to the block. Yep, which should be in this video also. Yeah, I'm hoping in this video we can get the head completely done, get it on the block, and maybe get chains done, which in this video we should. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. So. All right, guys, we're going to get started with getting all the old uh, valves and valve seals out. We're using the Snap-on Blue Point overhead valve tool kit. See how it goes. Chunks of carbon still from the machine shop. I will be cleaning that out before we put this head back together. <clears throat> Alright, so while we got the uh, head upside down and get ready to put valves in it, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, clean the beyond the valve seats where the uh, carbon buildup's at. Valve seals out, which some people would say would be wrong, but I haven't had an issue with it yet. Is I use propane and burn them, heat them up a little bit, and they actually slide right back out. in before we do the valve seals so we can lap them. Uh, one of the machine shops taught me a trick that I kind of like better than the actual valve lapping tool. Got a section of hose that fits on top of the valve. When you get all the valves in, you get the valve lapping compound on it. Same concept, go up and down, grind it a little bit. Makes it easier and have to wait for the suction of the actual tool. Right, guys, we're gonna put the valve seals in. What I normally do is use a 10 millimeter socket. The valve seal sits perfectly on the on the outside edge. Set it in place by hand.
I did it backwards when I pulled it apart, but cylinder one, working back. That's how I normally label it. So we got the cylinder head all bucked up, the valves are in, valve seals are in, valve springs and retainers are all done. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, cylinder head mounted back to the block. Give me a hand, Julie. Mm -hmm. There's your torque sequence and your torque specs. I'm going to start them off at 20 newton meters first, get them all snug down, and then we'll jump up to the 40, and then the 90 and the 90. Alright guys, we got the cams back in the motor. We're getting ready to uh, go ahead and put the anaerobic sealant up on the cam cap. And then we'll put that on. Whatever you do, do not use RTV on this cat. I have seen nothing but issues with it. Permatex does sell the anaerobic sealant. It's like, I think it's 12 to 15 bucks a tube, depending on where you get it from.
All right, next we're going to be tightening the cam cap down the spec. It's hand tight, several stages, and then it goes to 8 newton meters and a 90 degree turn. Alright guys, we're on the do with the timing chains. For the balance shaft, you have your timing mark here. There's a dot drilled on the intermediate shaft. And then an arrow down at the bottom. There's three links on the chain that are blue. And they're the same count between each. Right, on your main chain timing marks, you have a divot where the blue link lines up on both. And then on the lower sections, it's just like the balance shaft. There's another triangle that points up to the other Bluetooth. We got to get the camera retaining bracket on, the VVTs, and we'll get the timing cover on. We're still waiting on the oil pump tensioner. We'll have all that done in this video. Um, should be here tomorrow. We'll go from there. All right, guys, we got the tensioner in. You got to depress the, the spring. And I always use the lock pin to make it a little bit easier. Slide it behind. What's All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. We got the chains done. We got the head rebuilt. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go through the oil pan, the oil pump, oil pump chain tensioner. We're hoping to get this car done by the end of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.